Hey, Eric and Michelle. Well, yeah, there's been a movement over the last few years to try to get more badgers from Madison out here to L.A. and into the entertainment business. We talked to one of those today who said his Madison connections helped him get to L.A., and now he's trying to build on that success. They shot Wizard of Oz in this stage right here. Somewhere over the rainbow, you'll find Richie Schwartz on the Sony lot. We have a number of projects in development. The director of television for Olive Bridge Entertainment was a history and poli sci major at UW-Madison, but it was his work at Madison's John Roach projects that got him to L.A. He introduced me to David Lynch, the filmmaker, and Mary Sweeney, and my first job to, in L.A. was working as an assistant to David and Mary on the film Mulholland Drive and The Straight Story. 911? No, I didn't call 911. Since then, he's been producing shows like The Michael J. Fox Show and most recently, The McCarthy's on CBS. So, who's winning the sports today? Just sports. No, the. The McCarthy shot at a stage a little bit further down this way, stage 28. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, full studio audience. We had everybody there. And it was the same stage where they shot. Married with children and full house. He shows his spirit at the office and even tries to bring a bit of campus to his freezer. I get these every uh, every couple months. But he says that Wisconsin background connects him to badgers who are spread across the business. I mean, just yesterday I had a pitch meeting with um, an Oscar-winning documentarian who graduated from Wisconsin four years ahead of me. But since I've been out here, we've sort of come into contact with each other and started working on an idea together and certainly didn't hurt that we both, uh, you know, had the Wisconsin background. Everyone pulls for each other and, uh, you know, y you want everyone to do well, but I think there's an extra little uh, bonus when you find out that they're Wisconsin or they're a Badger. Schwartz is also working on a new Comedy Central show called Moonbeam City starring Rob Lowe and Elizabeth Banks. It's an animated show. It'll premiere a little bit later this year, but obviously like most Badger fans, he's worried about the big show that's going to happen here at Staples tomorrow night, of course. And it's kind of a Hollywood theme here going on. Sports director Jay Wilson has more on how the Badgers are expanding their entourage, so to speak. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, the Badgers, of course, have become media darlings here in SoCal this week. And tonight they uh, attended a private screening of the new Entourage movie. Now, the question was, which Badgers are most like the characters in Entourage? So we asked our Badgers Entourage expert, actually Eric Ryla, asked Jordan Smith. We've gone over this, all right. So Frank is uh, Frank well, is Vince. Why wouldn't I be Vince? You tell me. <laughs> if Jordan says I'm Vince, then you know I'll take it. I'm Eric, obviously, because I'm the manager that just goes around with Frank. Coach would be Ari. Just because he's in control of everything and he's kind of in people's face like that, he's just kind of a, I think that's a perfect match for him. The one that yells at us all the time. So Sam can be Lloyd because Ari likes to yell at him. That's very good. Turtle. <laughs> I think Duye could be turtle. I'm, I'm at a loss of words. <laughs> I'd, I'd say Nigel could be drama. Is that good or...? Just because he's so outlandish sometimes and the stuff that he does is hilarious. He must be a ladies' man. That's probably, it would make sense. So I, Smith knew what he was doing, yeah. Johnny drama? Yeah, he sounds like a ladies' man. Probably drives a nice car and is well-dressed. Frank and I have, all, have talked about that quite a few times that we, we kind of compare ourselves to the entourage group. I don't think I'd at basketball. I didn't think it would ever take me to you know the position I'm in right now. I'm not going to trade it for anything. So you know, hopefully we meet some more people. Um, but I've met some pretty cool people and hopefully continue to do so. Later in sports, we'll talk basketball. The Badgers and Arizona. It appears both teams are even better than they were when they met in the Elite Eight last year. That's it from Los Angeles. Back to Madison and Michelle and Eric.